Welcome back to another video and in today's episode we will have the option to rotate our buildables. We can rotate these in both directions. We can hold or we can just click and it's going to move our buildables. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. So rotating these meshes is actually very very simple so let's go to our third person character who has the controls and all that stuff so we're going to keep those in here uh, that's going to make our life a little bit easier uh, so we have the e key event over here which interacts with the build uh, we're going to use that event as well and also we're going to use the keyboard key q as well so i'm going to use e and q to rotate my objects so i'm just going to duplicate this event right here i'm going to change that to q so q there we go nice now the next thing that we need is we need our build component because we need to check a couple of things first we got to get the build ghost because we want to check whether the build ghost is valid or not whether it's existing or not also we could check uh, is uh, is build mode on there we go so that's good now that we have done this let's go ahead let's do an if on this one uh so we have that connected also we want to check if this is valid so let's just simply do a not the question mark but the other one so is valid so that we could do two booleans so we have this is valid and we're going to do a and between these because we want to make sure that the build mode is on and that the build ghost is valid so both of these need to be true before we can proceed with this specific task so now that we have done this Let's go ahead, let's grab our build component. And from this, what we actually want to do is we simply want to set the build transform, like so. Connect that to true. And now we got to adjust the rotation. So let's grab this. And from this, let's get our transform, our build transform, because we need to reuse the location and scale. So right click and split that. Right click and split this as well. And connect the location and connect the scale. Now for the rotation, we want to do a combine rotators. We want to add two rotations together. So we have the current rotation, whatever we might have, and then we can add some more. So in this case, I'm going to be rotating objects only in the Z axis. So they're going to be rotating around their own axis, basically. And for the Z, let's go ahead. Let's give this. It totally depends. We're just going to give this like five. There we go. So that's pretty much it so uh, now if we would hit play press b press q you can see each time we hit q it is going to rotate nice so uh, seems to work just fine but of course five degrees is not a lot so it's going to take a lot of clicking constant clicking it's going to be very boring on the player side you could bump up the rotation uh, to maybe like 15 or 30 degrees but still it's not exactly that uh, we can make this way way better uh, with some different codes so for example let's bump this down to one so that's a really small rotation really small change and after this let's go ahead and let's do a delay now let's do a delay of something like 0.05 seconds maybe so very very tiny delay and from that what we want to do is just simply go to this branch back here now you might know what this code will do now at this point if we will run this it is going to constantly keep on rotating our object and it is never going to stop so we got to figure out a way how we can make this stop so what i'm going to do over here is from the press i'm going to do a sequence there we go we have a sequence we're going to reconnect that one to then one so that the then one would go to this one because we want to do another task before that what we want to do is we want to create ourselves a gate so go ahead make a gate so actually let me move these aside a little bit here we go so we're going to make a gate now for this gate we we need to open it so first from then zero we are going to open this gate then afterwards we're going to do uh, the branch check and if it returns true instead of setting the rotation we're first we are first going to enter the gate we're going to try to enter the gate and whenever we exit it we proceed with our code so that's essentially just an extra node which will basically tell whether it's allowed or not allowed to continue with the code now to forbid this to continue with the code we need to close this so for closing what i'm going to use is simply the released key so whenever we will release our Q key, this is going to close the gate for us. So let's make something like this. There we go. So 
Whenever we click it the first time, it's going to open it. Whenever we release it, it's going to close it. And it's going to continue doing this loop up until, well, we no longer allow this to leave, uh, to, to go through this gate, essentially. So now, if we press B, hold Q, you can see the object is rotating. We can release it, and we can click it if we like. Now, if the rotations are still not good enough for you, if you want to make those faster, obviously, you can bring these values up, or you can lower the delay to like 0.01 for example so now you can see this is very very fast so bumping this up to five wasn't a good idea let's bring it down to one there we go so that seems about right and now whenever we place these objects like so they will stay in that specific position and it's going to be just fine now we got to set up the same thing for the other key because right now the objects are going to rotate in one axis uh, one way but they aren't going to rotate in the other way so let's fix that now we're going to need pretty much the same code, so I'm just going to copy this entire thing from over here and we're going to bring it to over here. Now as you can see we are already using the E key event to interact with the object so that basically we could finish that. So I'm going to copy our previously created code up here, that seems to be good enough, but over here, well, we're going to need to do some tiny adjustments. So let's grab this bit, bring it somewhere roughly around here, because we, we will run this code right here from the false route, like so. And essentially it's going to check whether the build mode is on and whether the buildable is valid. If, if, at, if at least one of these is false, then it's going to proceed with this code right here and it's going to finish our buildable. Now, for the E key event, we want to do exactly the same thing we did over here. So from the pressed, we want to go to the sequence and from the released, we want to go and close that gate so that the code would stop running over there. So, compile and save this, press play. There we go. Uh, wait, forgot to change this thing. So, uh, we need to, in the E, for example, now we need to go ahead and make this like minus one instead of plus one so that it would remove it. I got a little confused what's going on, but <laughs> yeah, we need to do minus one to rotate it in both of these directions. Now it doesn't work, we cannot rotate the object while it's snapped because it is snapping to that location, but as you can see over there, over here, over everywhere basically, we can rotate those, but they will still snap to the same exact rotations that they need to be, so you don't really have to worry about getting them off position essentially. And now we can no longer interact with it, we can no longer like finish the build when we are in the build mode so we need to stop that and then we can proceed with building our buildings of course if you don't like it this way if you want to pri prioritize finishing the build first so that instead of rotating it it would finish it what you can also do is instead of running this code over here so the false route from here another option would be for the e key event release still goes to closed but the pressed one goes to the line trace and then from the false, if it hasn't hit anything, then it can go to that sequence. So that's another option that you could use. So if we have this guy right here, we cannot rotate. We can only finish this first before we rotate. But this also gives us an issue that we cannot rotate the object while we face it with the E key event. So that's going to give us a little bit of an issue. So I still think that the previous route, this one, was quite a bit bigger. So first we rotate, if we're not in the build mode, then we can proceed with finishing the build. So that's going to be it for today's episode, hope you found this useful. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, all that good stuff, join my Discord, it's completely free. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.